Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and today I'm going to show you how to create this school news intro. Let's take a look. Okay, what you're going to need are a couple of the clips from our Digital Hotcakes Volume 10 Globes, specifically the Globe 8 background and the Globe 8 background intro. Now we're also going to add um, a sound bite to this slide as well. It's something that we got from SoundDogs.com and it's called Breaking News. So let's begin by getting rid of this slide so we can build it over again. And the first thing we're going to bring in is that Globe 8 background. And I'm going to set my slide time to 6 seconds. Of course, you can make that duration however long you want it. I'm going to set it at 6 seconds. I'll double click to open up our slide options. And the first thing that I'm going to do is create our caption. Okay, and again, you can place the caption wherever you like it. I'm going to put it right over here, left of center. And I also want to change its color. So right here under color set, I'm going to grab the eyedropper. I'm going to drop it into the red here. Okay, and up here under text effects, under fly in, I have this set at elastic right. So it's going to kind of fly in with the globe. Okay, now we need to set up some motion. Speaking of flying in, we need to set up some motion for the caption. So let's go under caption motion. And I'm going to right click on keyframe number one here. And I'm going to set the time to one second. Okay, and also on the fly-in, our elastic right fly-in, I'm going to right-click on that and do a an set effect time, and I'm going to set that time to 0 0.75 seconds. Okay, now we got our caption ready. Let's go ahead and add that other clip to, the, to our slide here. And I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. First, the old way, where we're going to add image or video, and we're going to bring in that globe in that globe 8 background intro. Okay, when we bring it in this way, we're going to have to do something to it because it needs to be down here. It needs to be on layer 2. So right here, just your little down arrow, just move it to layer 2. So that's one way to bring it in. Here's a little quicker way to bring it in. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. If you have your panel open here with all of your clips that you're using to build your slide, you can just grab this and drag it over. And you see that dark blue line there? That means it's going to come in underneath that the layer you have now. And there it is. Just a little shortcut there. Okay, now we need to set up the timing for these two clips and we do that under effects, motion effects. And the timing we need to set it. We want the, our, our background to start after the background intro. So let's select that background layer and we're going to right click on its keyframe number one and we're going to set the time to 2.5 seconds. Okay, and the last thing that we need to do is add our little sound bite. So let's go under Sounds, select Sound, select Sound File, and this is where you'll navigate to wherever you have saved your little sound bite. And that'll do it. Click OK, and let's take a look.